What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Objective-C programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to print Hello World onto the screen. So let's get started. Now uh, let's open up Xcode here. And again, this is the code we had in our last tutorial. This is the default code when you first create a new project. It's a Hello World code here. And um, I'm going to delete this just so I can show you step by step how uh, we created a program. Now the first thing I'm going to show you uh, is comments. Now uh, comments are very important. It's used for uh, making notes for yourself. Uh, it's easier to recap stuff you did in the program and two, it's, uh, it's good for anybody else who's going to work on your program so they'll be on the same page as you are. There are a couple ways we can write a comment. The first way is to use two forward slashes and anything after the two forward slashes is a comment and this is for an entire line, right? So when the program starts, it, it knows that everything after the two forward slashes is, is a comment and it doesn't execute it. And it, this is only for one specific line. So the next line of code here starts. Now uh, we can write whatever we want in a comment. Uh, you can write the date, the, uh, your name, the description of the program. Now there's another way to write comments. We can use um, the forward slash, this star symbol and hit enter a few times, the star symbol again, and this forward slash. Now, anything in between uh, this, and this could be spaced out, so you could write an entire paragraph. Anything in between these two uh, codes here is comments. So again, forward slash star, and you end the comment with a star forward slash. So you can have as many lines of code as you want. So uh, as long as you end, you end it with a star forward slash, then uh, you're good to go. Now let's start programming. So the f so we're gonna start with the first line of code here. I'm gonna type in I'm gonna type in hashtag or pound symbol, whatever you want to call it. Import, hit space, right? Then I want to type in with this less than symbol, O U N D A T I O N forward slash capital F again, O U N D a T I O N dot H greater than symbol. We're actually importing a file called foundation H. The reason we're importing this file is because it has objects and classes that we're going to need in our program. So now the second line of code here, I'm going to type in I N T hit space M A I N hit space open parentheses, right? I N T a R G C comma space C O N S T space C H A R space the star symbol here space A R G V open a close bracket right now as you can see the program it uh, automatically added the ending parentheses here by itself, Xcode will add that. You gotta make sure you have a open parentheses and a closing parentheses, right? Now, what this is doing here, INT is a reserved word, and it's uh, and it's, it's saying that uh, main, this program is called main, right? And it's initializing that main is a uh, integer, right? So INT is a data type, and, it's, and main has an integer value, a number value, right? So that's all that's doing. So now we're going to hit enter a few times. Now we're going to add this open curly brace here. Now we're going to hit enter and automatically it's going to add a closing curly brace, right? So this is the st structure of our program here. The open curly brace and the closing curly brace. We're going to type in this at symbol. We're going to type in A-U-T-O-R-E-L-E-A-S-E-P-O-O-L auto release pool, right? So we're going to type that in. Now after after that auto release pool, we're going to hit space, then we're going to type in another open curly brace here, and we're going to hit enter, and it's automatically going to add the closing curly brace here. Now in between this open and close curly brace here, 
is where we're going to do all our coding, the main coding of the program. This is where we're going to put all our statements. So now we're going to hit enter a few times. Again, this is where we're going to do most of our code here. So now we're going to type in a statement. A statement is basically an expression that is terminated with a semicolon. Expressions are like actions in a program. You can move around values, you could declare variables, you can print stuff on the screen, you can take input, those are statements. All right, now we're going to type in our first statement. And our statement is going to be called NSLog. And NSLog is going to print whatever we want on the screen. So we're going to type in capital N, capital S, capital L, now ca lowercase o, and lowercase g. Now we're going to type in open and close parentheses and end it with a semicolon. We're going to end it with a semicolon here. Now, we can space this out here. So we're going to type in capital N, capital S, capital L, lowercase o, lowercase g, hit space, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon because it is a statement. Now in between this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in the at symbol here. Next to the at symbol, we're going to type in a set of double quotes, right? In between the set of double quotes, we're going to type in the message we want to print out on the screen. In this case, it's hello world. So we're going to type in H-E-L-L-O-W-O-R-L-D, right? So this, again, is a statement. And uh, each statement has to be ended with a semicolon. And we're using the NS log. It's capital N capital S, capital L, lowercase o and lowercase g, hit space, open and close parentheses, end it with a semicolon. Start, I started off inside the open and close parentheses with the at symbol, set of double quotes. In between the set of double quotes, we type out the string we want to print out on the screen. So now there's one more thing we have to do before we can run the program. Now, after uh, this uh, closing curly brace here, we, I'm gonna hit enter. And after that, in between this uh, other closing curly brace, right? We're going to type in another statement, and it's called a return statement. So we're going to type in R-E-T-U-R-N, hit space. Remember, return is a reserved word. Anything that you see that's purple is a reserved word and is reserved by the program. INC is a reserved word. So remember that all, all these different colors are different things. Like at hello world is a string. Uh, the black means something. This helps the programmer. Uh, program when you can see that what all the different values are in the program. Now we're gonna hit space after return and we're gonna type in zero and that with a semicolon because that is a statement. What this is doing is telling the main to end and is returning the value of zero. The value of zero means terminate basically so it terminates the program. So we had to add this terminate program before we can uh, execute. So now let's hit play okay. and build failed. I know why it failed. Got to get rid of the semicolon. The semicolon was added by mistake up here. So let's hit play again. And the program succeeded. And as you see down here, it printed out hello world. This is our like terminal down here, and it shows us all the output. So again, from the top, import uh, imports the file called foundation.h, which holds all the important files that we're going to need for the program, like the objects and the classes that we're going to use. Then uh, we, the second line of code here, basically uh, initializes that main is a integer, the name of the program. I'll talk more about that in another uh, tutorial, but we must have that in the program. We hit space. Uh, I'm sorry, we hit enter a few times. We start off with this open curly brace, and then we end it with the closing curly brace down here, right? Now, then we uh, hit enter a few times. Then we start off with this statement here, at symbol auto release pool, right? All right, I forgot to mention before, but auto release pool, the at auto release pool is a mechanism that allows the system to efficiently manage the memory of your app. So remember that. Uh, then we hit space. Then we use this open uh, curly brace. Then we end it with the closing curly brace here. And in between here, we're going to add all our code, all our statements. Now this NS log is a statement. Uh, we typed capital N, capital S, capital L, lowercase o, lowercase g, hit space, open and close parentheses, and then we a semicolon. We typed in inside the open and close parentheses, we typed in this at symbol. We added a set of double quotes here, right here. In between the set of double quotes, we added the string that we want to print out on the sc screen here. And uh, again, this is a statement to print stuff on the screen. Later on, I'll show you how to print like variables and different stuff using the NS log. And uh, then down here, we added this return zero. Again, return is a uh, return is a reserved word used by the program. And we hit space, we typed in zero and ended it with a semicolon. 
return en ends the main statement and returns the value of zero. When it returns the value of zero, that tells the program to end, basically. And we added this closing curly brace here. So that's pretty much it. This is a structure of a Objective-C program here. And uh, we, we uh, created a statement to print out hello world on the screen. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.